Hello and welcome to today's video and today we are going to be looking at the V8600. So off camera I have uh, de-seized the, uh, the video head assembly so I've actually taken the uh, head assembly apart and I have removed the collar, adjusted the disc and it now spins absolutely fine. There's no problems at all, it's no longer seized. Right at the beginning I rerouted all of the cables onto the main board. I then plugged the audio and uh, other audio connections back into the audio amplifier on the back there. Then once that was done I then actually took some time to bring the main head assembly through. So I had to bring the head assembly through, drop that down and thread that in very carefully with the uh, the relevant cables. It was a bit of a pain to do to be honest and um, the other video that I've uploaded this evening gives uh, all of the pain I went through to get that sorted out. So if you want to watch the full video, you can, and uh, you should be able to click in the right hand corner to be able to do that now if you want. But watch this one first because this does give you a quick rundown of what I've actually done. So once I got the head in place, I then had to get that completely put in. So there was a little power connector on the side which was um, a little bit tricky to get in but I used a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to get that into place. As you can see here back on the other side I've got the cables through and fed the cables through the actual chassis of the machine. So we had two sets of head wiring. So there's obviously two sets of heads, there were two sets of wires which you have to poke through and they come from either side of the head drum assembly and then that goes off into the bowels of the machine and will eventually interface and team up with the head amp. What I also did whilst I was in here is I replaced the belts. The flat belt on the capstan, I'm going to need to get a proper replacement for that because I did try one of the ones that I boiled which did seem to have a bit of grip on it but it's too slack to use in the machine unfortunately so I will need to try and source a flat belt which would um, be suitable. I've got a micrometer downstairs so I'm going to measure the belt that I've got on there at the moment and try and find one that is a couple of millimeters shorter now there is this rather interesting little geared assembly that you might be able to see in the picture there. That is really cool, it's got this sort of solenoid thing which basically um, engages it for forward play or reverse play. It's very clever the way that it does it. And yeah, once I got the machine reassembled I was in a position to actually start testing everything. I put the machine back together completely apart from the top cover, hooked it up to the set and the results of that will be shown very shortly. As you can see uh, things are not perfect because I do need that flat belt and I also think the set I was using because it is a 1976 set probably didn't sort out the um, actual uh, the actual sort of image properly on fast forward and rewind so that's just something to just something to bear in mind when you're viewing the uh, viewing it and also when you're testing the unit as well so that will be something that I will need to look into and possibly test it on a newer set over composite which I'll try next time so all I need to do now is get the relevant belt and after that the other thing I'm going to need to do is work out why it's not rewinding or re rewind queuing anyway Enjoy the next part of the video where we get the unit tested. Thank you very much for watching and if you so want to you can take a look at the other video uh, which has all of the pain that I went through. I will warn you it is a long one. Anyway, take care, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. See you next time. Hello chaps, so this is currently in a pause state at the moment. Uh, playback I need to get a new capstan flat belt. I've adjusted the upper head drum as you can see they're all four heads are spinning around nicely and obviously it's not playing back but we do have an image on the screen if I hit play actually oops sorry unpause it you can hear the capstan hunting to try and get this working again fast forward there's two speeds of fast forward there's fast forward slow which is like double speed 
and then fast forward fast which you hold down but obviously there's no picture that could be just due to the set in all honesty if I go back to play and it tries then obviously blanks the screen because it can't get a, can't get a lock on the capstan but pause is good and that's a forehead pause it's actually working really well anyway just wanted to let you know how it's going because that just needs a belt and I think it'll be fixed the only thing that doesn't work is rewind and there's no rewind at all if I do play and try to do rewind Q shuts down so that's normally the arm that does the sort of brings the tape into position to wind it back so I'm not sure what's wrong with that but to be honest I'm not going to be doing any kind of fast forwarding or rewinding on this deck. Fast forward works fine as you can see there but I'm not going to use this deck for winding tapes fast forward or rewind simply because it laces it, keeps it laced and it destroys the heads very very quickly which is a trait with these machines and also with um, uh, the Sony C series machines as well. However, everything else works. Anyway, there we go. That seems to be another one potentially fixed.